Summer is here, and for a lot of us, that means more time enjoying the outdoors. But how can you make sure your home is in tip-top shape for the summer season? Here with some summer maintenance tips are the hosts of today's homeowner television show, Danny Lifford and his daughter, Chelsea Lifford. Wolf. Hey, Danny and Chelsea, how's it going? Hey, going great. Glad to be with you. Hey there. Always great to hear from you guys. So what are uh, some of the top summer maintenance must-dos for this season? Well, one of the things you want to do is inspect that wood deck very, very carefully and make sure the handrails and the stairs and so forth are in great shape. If you find anything that's loose, then use a long um, deck screw to tighten it all up. Same way as if you have a nail sticking up out of the deck surface, pull it out, don't drive it back in, and then use a screw to tighten it all together. And then you want to find your indoor air conditioning unit, wherever that may be, and look for the drain line and pour one cup of bleach down the drain line. It'll clean anything out and keep it from backing up and shutting off your air conditioner this summer. Hey, one more thing, Diego, that you would never think it would be on a summer list is to call your chimney sweep. They're readily available. They may even give you a discount on the price. A perfect time to go ahead and get that fireplace inspected, cleaned, and ready for the cold weather that's a few months away. That's a good point. I never thought about that, but it's good to kind of get ahead of things. And like you said, you may even be able to get a, a discounted price if you do it during the summer. What other tips on making repairs do you guys have that uh, you may discover while doing all of this cleaning? Well, you know, um, a few cleaning tips. One would also um, be to use 50% vinegar, white vinegar, and 50% water, and then use uh, regular newspapers when you're cleaning your windows. And it's good to have someone inside and out to make sure that there's no streaks or any spots that are missed. Great cleaning solution and of course for furniture whether you have wood furniture like we built here right. or regular aluminum or metal furniture really soap and water Just, is the best way yeah, to go there soap and water and a scrub brush now when you do that you're you know whether you're cleaning your deck whether you clean your furniture whatever you might find something like you mentioned and we did find something yesterday where we had a crack right along here but Chelsea took care of that yeah it was split right along the wood grain so I just put a line of wood glue on it and then clamped it to hold it together with these small bungee cords and honestly it looks like there was never a split there to begin with yeah that it's worked awesome. out it that worked new, out huh? yeah that worked really worked good instead of having a discolored you know a brand new piece of wood that wouldn't match up and and even when you you're building furniture like this or doing just about anything outside with wood using tight bond three which is the ultimate wood glue it's waterproof exterior interior whatever and when we built these chairs we used them to kind of put it together and we were able to use less fasteners it worked really well and my grandson Gus I think he's gonna love his little birdhouse we put together <laughs> I think as well. He will. That's pretty cute. <laughs> That's so great. Well, that's it's a good tip to kind of look over some stuff that may need repairs while you're doing all of that because the last thing you want is for those chairs to break on you while you're enjoying all of the summertime heat out on the porch. So we all know uh, with our air conditioning, it's going to be working overtime right now in the weeks ahead, especially we're getting into the really hot months here of the summer here in Utah. Any suggestions on how to keep our electric bills from getting out of hand? Well, certainly sealing the envelope of your home, taking some small steps and caulking around your windows and doors anywhere that that hot air can sneak in to your house, thresholds, that type of thing. But if you're selecting new air conditioning um, equipment, the key thing you need to know about is the SEER rating. And actually, the SEER rating means seasonal energy efficiency ratio. And the higher the number, the lower the bill. Most homes will have 16 to 20 SEER ratings, but we helped a homeowner out here on a recent um, uh, taping of uh, my television show, Today's Homeowner, where she had a really hot situation back in this edition. We solved the problem with using an air conditioning system that has an amazing 42 SEER rating. Yeah, you wow. can see it on the wall right behind us. It's the Carrier Mini Split Ductless System, and it's ductless, so it's just this, and then the condenser unit outside. There's no duct work to run, and then, like Dad said, it's perfect for an addition like this. You already have an air conditioning system for the rest of the house. This one is just for this room. And it can be installed in less than a day, and the um, efficiency of it's amazing. And of course, one of the important features of course, you got to have a remote control. You don't even have to get out of your chair, Diego. Just keep watching the <laughs> ball game and get the temperature just the way you want it. Oh, that makes things really easy. I appreciate you guys letting us know how we can make sure our home is in tip-top shape for this summer season. Danny and Chelsea, where can we find more information? Love for you to drop by our website at todayshomeowner.com. Thanks for all the great tips. As always, we look forward to speaking to you both again. Have a good one. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Same to you.